I am aware of the fact that, you know, individuals somehow are, in, are affected by social and wider stories or political situations. And I'm aware of the fact that uh, somehow in the political situations, I mean, the individual can be lost, but can somehow even play a role. And often my work is even about that, how a bigger story is affecting a more little story, but how a little story deals with the bigger scene, how you can get the bigger scene through these more intimate and more fragmented stories. And it's even a question of how the subjectivity, the human subjectivity can survive the history in general, how it can deal with the history and how it can be part of it, like through its protagonism, but how often is a victim. So in this uh, borderline, you know, uh, often happens interesting things. This coexistence is part of, of life in general, you know, so life is made of these conflicts, life is made of these uh, tensions, and often even uh, interesting things happen through the conflicts, through the tensions. I'm not interested in avoiding conflicts in general, and I think that in the situations where there is tension, there is always a dynamic of a development, which is a kind of interesting development. Then, of course, to deal with a situation you know, where elements are fighting somehow with each other, means that you still you need to build a rhythm, you need to build a, uh, to build a kind of so-called antique word harmony, you know? between these uh, conflicts. But the harmony cannot uh, erase the conflict, cannot erase the, the tension. So that was the, the whole work was um, a bit about that, you know, how you can put this conflict in a story, how you can uh, make them live together, and how you can show it to the other as one piece, not as uh, just uh, some fragments from you know, different realities, but how you can put them in one in one piece, even in terms of editing, even in terms of the storytelling. It's like a story, you know? It's a story of this stone taken from the mountain and then brought to this boat and then the trip. And it's an open story because uh, it ends with the, when the, with the fact that the column is finished, but the journey is not finished yet. So somehow it's an, it's an open story too. We never know the real origin of the work because there are some hidden, you know, roots maybe that uh, make possible uh, work to come out. But uh, like often happens with my work, it came out of a meeting of a kind of encounter with uh, with a friend of mine who told me this this amazing and somehow sick story of uh, of this. Uh, uh, these factory boats producing uh, marble sculptures in the ocean. After listening to this story, I thought, wow, I mean, sculpture, marble, boat, ocean, Asia, Europe, uh, work, exploitation of the work, uh, antique uh, crafts, new dynamics of the contemporary world, globalization, so many things standing together in this story. So I thought I want to deal with that. So I wanted, so it was not like a, an idea coming to my mind in a moment of inspiration or it was not an idea built in a, in a studio because you want to say something, you want to build a statement. But it was this kind of meeting with the story that in itself had all these potentialities. So my work or my job was how to approach myself with these potentialities and how to bring them together in a kind of uh, linear way without uh, forcing them, without making it becoming like a, uh, something that I'm saying to the others, but more something that I'm discovering myself and sharing it with the others. You know, film is a, is a time-based uh, art. You know, I, I see it as an, as an art expression based on time. So uh, um, for that, the film was important for me to, to use. It was a, a, 
was necessary for me to use this uh, medium because uh, I needed, uh, I needed uh, this story to be developed on time and, uh, and somehow the, in this time they are happening all these transitions that you mentioned, you know? So, so the time was important for that, you know? And of course there is a time of things that happen but there is a time of, uh, of telling these things, you know? So this is the time of the film. So, and the time of the film is made by this duration, but at the same time is made by the rhythm you create. So how you play with, uh, with editing. So, and that is a part of, you know, part of the expression, you know? So you, it's not that you have in mind a, a formula for that, but you follow things and then you, uh, you use these elements of the, the language of the film, you know, the rhythm, the time-based, you know, um, elements as a, as a tool for for your expression. <laughs>